Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to Chill Town Hoops. I'm your host, Jermaine. The youngsters call me OG. My friends call me J-Dub. Let's get to it. So, the Milwaukee Bucks are the NBA champs. They maximized a great opportunity. Giannis was fantastic. Drew Holiday, defensively, he was elite. Chris Middleton is exactly what they needed. He might not have been as consistent as a lot of you guys would like him to be, but they're not winning that NBA championship without him. P.J. Tucker was solid on defense. Bobby Portis, Bobby Portis was exactly what they needed off the bench. Connaughton knocks down open shots. So where do we go from here with this unit? Because Giannis, Holiday, and Chris Middleton are responsible over the next three years for over $480 million. Bobby Portis comes off the books this summer. P.J. Tucker is a free agent, and they own his bird rights. So what does Milwaukee have to shore up? Because we can't run it back with this unit. They finished third in the Eastern Conference, and Kevin Durant missed half the season, and we'll get to them, we'll get to them in a minute. They finished third in the Eastern Conference. They still have a lot of questions about their unit overall, even though they did win the NBA championship. Great job. So, what do they do in free agency? They own P.J. Tucker's bird rights. He's 35 years old. What is he going to cost? We're already at the threshold of the luxury tax. We're already there. And luxury tax in Milwaukee is not the same as luxury tax. Paying a luxury tax in Milwaukee is not the same as paying a luxury tax in New York or in Miami or in Los Angeles. It's not the same thing. There are different things that we have to factor in. So they still got to show up their bench. They're going to get Divinchenko. Divin They're going to get him back next season. So that's going to be huge for them. He's going to cut into Connaughton's minutes. And Connaughton's still going to be solid. I dig him. They might have to let Bobby Portis walk because he may be a little expensive. He may be a little bit too expensive for them, especially after what he did in the playoffs, what he's going to command on the open market. And he might be a little bit too expensive for Milwaukee. P.J. Tucker, what, how far are you willing to go with him at age 35? You own his bird rights. And how many more years do you have with him? Do you let him walk out the, do you let him walk out the front door? Because you're not going to get him on the cheap. So that's a question that needs to be answered. Then you got the Brooklyn Nets. K.D. missed half the season. He's going to be 33 on opening night. He's going into year 15. Now, year 15 means that you got a lot of miles on you. I'm not on the, the Achilles injury. We did that already. That was two years ago. And he clearly showed that he was healthy from that aspect. Can James Harden show up? Hold up. Can James Harden hold up? Can Kyrie hold up? Because I'm not concerned with, I've seen Kyrie in the playoffs, and I've seen what he's capable of doing. I've seen him when he's on top of his game. I've seen Kevin Durant when he's on top of his game. But I know who James Harden is. So I'm not convinced with this Brooklyn team that if they, when they bring this group back. I'm not convinced with this Brooklyn team that they're the favorites. Because I've seen James Harden in the playoffs. I've seen when the playoffs... As deep as they go in the play, the deeper they go in the playoffs, he starts to break down. And his play starts to become affected by it. It happened in 18. It happened this year. It happened in 17. So I know who he is. Brooklyn losing. Brooklyn losing Allen. As a, as a rim protector, that was huge for them. And a rebounder, that was huge for them. Do we bring break, Do we bring Griffin back? Now, you could probably get 
You could probably get, I don't think you can get Griffin cheaper, even though he's 34 years old and athletically he's clearly shown that he's going to slow down. He's slowing down. Joe Harris, I mean, you paid him, but he didn't really give you much in the playoffs, and it was obvious. Can Kyrie Irving hold it together and stay afloat and be stable for this team? Because if he's unstable, that unit is unstable, which, is, which would explain why you saw what you saw. There aren't any trades, blockbuster trades for Brooklyn to make. They've already got their unit. They've got their core in James Harden, Kyrie Irving, and Kevin Durant. I think they run it back next year. I, I do think they bring. I think they bring back Griffin. I think they bring him back for a reduced price. I mean, he's a free agent, but I don't think that they they could get him for the mid level exception. And then you got the Philadelphia 76ers, who Ben Simmons. It's all a mental thing with him. I think his game has spoken. It's clearly upstairs with him. Clearly, Joel Embiid would have won the league MVP had he not gotten hurt and missed a month. Because they were over 500 when he was out of the lineup. They were, they were over 500. So, Tobias Harris is a solid number three. I love everything about Thibel. Everything about him. They got a lot of good young players on their bench. Shake Milton is great. So... I think Philadelphia is going to be right back in the middle of it. Now, the question that we have is, what's the story with Atlanta? Because you've got a lot of young players. And when you got a lot of young players, a lot of, a lot of not, young, not just young players, but a lot of young players who are good, who are really good. They had six guys averaging double figures. You're not going to be able to pay all of these guys, which means your team's going to get raided by other teams, and you're going to lose those guys. You know, John's Col John Collins is a restricted free agent. I think he wants to stay in Atlanta. The question is, is what is Atlanta willing to pay? The one thing I found out about the NBA is this is not the NFL. You're not winning on the cheap in the NBA. You are not winning on the cheap. If you want to win, you got to pay guys. You have to. And I think Collins wants to stay there. I don't think he's a max guy. But Atlanta's going to have to pay him. Absolutely they are. Trey Young's, deal, Trey Young's deal is up next season. So you're going to have to pay him. You got Clinton, you, you got, not Clinton, but you got Clinton Capella. I'm sorry, you got Clinton Capella coming back. So you got your defense shored up in the paint. <clears throat> Herder, you got your knockdown shooter. And I think Cam Reddish, he's shown to me that he's got the potential to be really good. Same thing with RJ Hunter. They have the potential to be really good. Can they hold on to these guys is the question. Gallo has been great coming off the bench. Then you have the New York Knicks. Well, I think they're one guy away. I don't think the Knicks are that far away. I think they're one guy away. I think they're solid in the paint in terms of their defense. I think R.J. Barrett is going to be better next season he's shown improvement in both the years that he's been there he's shown improvement so I think he'll be back next season and he'll be better I'm not going overboard with Randall Randall's a B player who had an A year they still want I still think the Knicks are one guy away I don't know exactly who that guy is maybe Leonard to get Damian Lillard in New York that means you're gonna have to give up a lot and I don't I'm not I'm not sure Damian Lillard pushes you over the top it would be fun to watch, absolutely, but the Knicks have been mediocre for a long time. And I think the Knicks the, the Nick fan base is ready for a champion. They're ready for it. They're ready for a championship contender. So the way I see it, if the Knicks can if the Knicks can get one more guy, they'll be right back in the middle of it. I think that. Next season, we're looking at basically the same order where it was Brooklyn, Philly, 
Milwaukee, New York, and Atlanta. We're looking at the same order, but I think Boston, for the most part, I think Boston's going to jump into that. And I think Boston takes over for Atlanta next season. And I think that they move into the top five in the East. I think Tatum's going to come back better. I think Jalen Brown is going to come back better. I am not objective to trading Marcus Smart. Not at all. Because I think you're going to get the defense that you lose with Marcus Smart. I think you're going to get that back in Jalen Brown. I think he's going to be an all-league defender one day. I love everything about Robert Williams. You absolutely have to get him in the fold. No question about it. I think Boston is going to be in the middle of the Eastern Conference. I think they're, they're going to be better next year. So it's going to be interesting to see how this Eastern Conference fold, unfolds next season. Very interested to see. So basketball season is over, but I'll absolutely keep you guys posted. And I'll talk more about this the next time I see you. Take it light, but take it.